I had one pot of beer and one shot of scotch One bottle of wine and a bourbon on the rocks Hey guys, welcome to the Booze Review. We are at, what convention are we at? This is uh, Congregate, <laughs> Congregate 3, uh, in 2016 here in High Point, North Carolina, um, at the Radisson, a hotel that will make sure that uh, you are ready to check into your room by the time they get around to you. Um, and get your key to work. Yeah, and get the key to work. Mine didn't work at first, but then I realized I wasn't putting it in far enough. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, no, well, you also have to put it in your room. <laughs> oh, so it doesn't work just in any So that's room. why there was screaming. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the conventions get lonely. Okay. Um, so we are uh, we are here with Glenn. Is Figment around? He's sexually asleep in the next room. Figment uh, is, is his friendly dragon. Unfortunately, is asleep. Uh, I honestly thought that Figment was going to be here. So if, well, if you want him, go wake him up. No, no, you, you just don't have to be in the video. If Figment's not there. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> and of course, we, we've also got Everett, who you are in charge of the Dragon Con auction. Not anymore. Not anymore. I, I was. I passed that off to somebody else now. Oh, okay. You just yes. got tired of it too much? It what, was just too much, too much work. <laughs> the drugs wore off. <laughs> the drugs wore off? Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's not worth it anymore. All right, fair enough. Um, and so what, we've got all sorts of, uh, of boozes here. Um, now, are we going to pick one? Are we going to do a sample through through each one? I'm, I'm down with whatever, because you actually, guys are actually, experts in this. We went... <laughs> We went um, party hopping before the, the uh, <laughs> event yeah. tonight. Mm -hmm. We went down to the Bane Barflies room, who has the best bar in the entire hotel. It's insane. Better than the bar hotel. Oh, yes. By far. And we told her what we were going to be doing with you later, and she said, pick anything off the bar. She goes, matter of fact, here, try this, try this. And they sent us up with a couple of bottles. So what? we think we're going to pick one. Okay, well, hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> we, we, need to, we need to back up because... You mentioned that we were, you guys were going to do this with me, uh -huh. and they gave booze yes. to contribute. Wow. Okay. So we'll need to make sure that I, I give thanks to them. Yes. Uh, Obviously, they don't know him. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Are you sure you used my name and not somebody else's? No, we just said we're doing a booze tasting. Yeah, we might have just said it was a video booze about booze tasting. <laughs> might have not said your name. And Maybe that was why we got the alcohol. See, that sounds much more believable. Okay. okay the other one was just your ass just off for booze. <laughs> when we take it back down to them, we'll make sure you don't go with us. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> he's not with us, officer. No. It's probably we don't know thing. them. All right, so uh, this is one of the ones that the, the Bane yes. and Barfly uh, donated. And what is that? It's uh, from the Balvenie um, Scottish Distillery, but it's done differently from their standard scotch. Okay. They, as they put it on here, the single malt spent many years maturing in traditional whiskey oak coaches, or cask, it says coaches. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I, I haven't had any yet. Was the bottle um, full when it came up? Uh, <laughs> no, man, it had a little bit more. Um, but what they do is they take, they get casks that have been used to age rum, uh -huh. and they put the scotch in it after it's fully scotch aged, and then they age it again in rum casks. And it sweetens it and smooths it out. See, that has always been one of my issues with with scotch. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have an appreciation for scotch because a lot of it is too. It's just too dry. It just it, it doesn't feel good to me. It tastes fine, but and some of them have that right. bite too. Yeah, very much. It, it feels like acid reflux when it yes. goes down uh, <laughs> to me. But so this is uh, the Caribbean Casso mm -hmm. with the rum aspect. It, it's yes, it's, it's aged. A, it's aged a total of fourteen years. Woo. Yes, jeepers! Now, is that fourteen years? That's fourteen years total between the, okay. the Scotch okay. and the, the rum casks. So he was wanting to know if it was fourteen years in human years. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to let anything like that around the money maker. Um, I, I don't need uh, uh, to catch a predator showing up on my IMDb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've seen who you've dated. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the host has to have something. It's just yeah, sure. Let's get him drunk. <laughs> oh no, of course. Are you kidding me? This is why do you think I do this? Exactly. Yeah, free booze. Free booze. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Free booze. It's a, are, 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 you, are you going to try it or not? If you're going to force me to he said earlier he wasn't sure if he wanted to. The, the only time that you don't get to is if no, you're a that one. I've never totaled a tea in my life. Oh boy. Thank you. All right, so. Snort it? Okay, good. 
Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out the other nostril. <laughs> <laughs> Only when you <laughs> Back into the cup. So, there you go. <laughs> Is that so how the agents get to the extra Circulation pump. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get those uh, impurities out. Okay, there we go. It smells good. It smells... I mean, it smells like a scotch, but I can smell the sweetness. Uh-huh. Like, it really is. Like, it's, it's not your standard scotch at all. It just doesn't have that bite at all at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got a nicer color than a lot of scotches mm-hmm. do too. Very nice amber. Yeah. All right, let's hear. Unfortunately, I'm not much of a scotch drinker, but it is good. Yeah, it definitely has the um, the rubbing alcohol tingle. Yes, all in the mouth. Um, yeah, that's the way to sell something. <laughs> <coughs> but it tells <laughs> it tastes like rubbing alcohol. Great! <laughs> ah, smooth. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't like to drink it, you can clean your guns with it. <laughs> Here, get that stain right out. Yeah. That embarrassing leftover stain. Sorry. Oh, did I pick up the wrong bottle? This wasn't the STP. <laughs> tastes about the same, whatever. Yeah, it's it's not bad, and I like this better than better than other scotches that I've had, but. Again, I, I'm just not a scotch guy. It just, it's just like, oh, okay, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, and I, like this, I like this better than most scotches, mm-hmm. although most of the scotch that I drink is more on the, the peaty side, the, the Lagavulin, the Ardenbell, um, those mm-hmm. types that, that you really taste that peat flavor in. I got you. Um, this is more on the opposite end of the scale of the scotches. Okay. Um, but but definitely this is this is something that you would. You I would, would buy this. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> okay. Then we have five minute breather yeah. for uh, the host. Yeah. Uh, me, me personally, I, I would probably give it. Uh, I'd say about. Uh, I'd say I'd say right? a, a, a two William Wallaces out of out of five. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come up with some sort of a, a grading scale that matches. Well, well we have the Scottish guy over here. So the Scottish guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, we were discussing that earlier. I, I have the Irish heritage, mm-hmm. and he's got family still in Scotland. And uh, I'm a European mutt. Um, <laughs> and Scotch Irish. And again, we're back to who you're dating. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would give five of you for one of these. And I don't like it. Yeah. Um, so now I know where See? I stand. So. <laughs> I know where my brain is. I know the easy standing. <laughs> Isn't that the whole point? <laughs> so, do, do we want to try one more, or yep. or do we want to um, do uh, throw some rum in here? Well, you're more actually, of a that's, rum that's, guy. that's what I think we should do. Is Glenn's more of the rum aficionado, and he brought a really good one over here that that is a very small rum distillery. So, I I think we should try that and oh, talk about it. it. Sure. This one is called Siesta Key out of. Sarasota, Florida, and the neat thing about them is they actually use real spices and not flavorings oh, okay. when they make their stuff. Yeah, real, this was the, their toasted coconut one. Yeah. They really toast coconut and put they it in, that. and it has pieces in it. They um, use their, that. their spice drum, yeah. they put real the spices, spices in it, not the, the spice flavoring that, that oh. most of the places put. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, when it comes to rums, pretty much my favorite rum to drink is Sailor Jerry. So, as a rum yes. connoisseur, have, have I just basically like uh, no, dropped Jerry's a Walmart really like, bomb? In, no, no, Sailor Jerry's good. That's, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Sailor Jerry's real good. I want to make sure because yeah. I know that that is because uh, a lot of these are maybe a little bit tougher to find because of the quality yes. and whatnot. And so I want to make sure that this one you, know, you can actually find in most places. Oh, we, okay. we, wines has them. Yeah, on on the East Coast you can find this. Yeah, oh, okay. um, there's still a small distillery. As a matter of fact, Glenn was talking about the distillery earlier tonight and. Tell them about the, the walkthrough. Yeah, please do. Um, the walkthrough, you go in and the tour is, we start here, this is our first barrel, then it goes into here, then it goes into here, mm-hmm. then it goes into our bottling room. The tour hasn't moved. You're still <laughs> standing in the same spot as the tour guide is going, then back there. That's it. Yeah, they still only have one still. Well, no, they oh, have wow. two now. They have two. Yeah, they, they, we did, they were we putting in the their tour. second one yeah, when these were, guys were there. They were building... <laughs> He shows so up in the rum factory. It has to double their, their <laughs> output. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, please, Harry. I'll bring that second one along. <laughs> yeah, we need that song. I mean, you're eager already. It's like, here, let me get my cup. <laughs> Gorgeous. And our song, I haven't tried this one yet. Yeah, this one doesn't really have a smell. I'm worried about tipping it no, far enough to smell it. No, a lot of rums don't. Going to go in yeah. nose. I, unless you I get we're back to snorting it the wrong well, No, but the ones that have... <laughs> The ones that have a lot of artificial, mm-hmm. um, like the spices and stuff, 
you will smell them as soon as you open the bottle. Yeah. This, these, you don't. And I think it's because they're they're using real spices, yeah, and which emulsify into the alcohol better. Oh. Honey and spices added. They don't say what spices, just spices. But so it's not spices. really much of a smell. Right? Mm -mm. But you can taste the spice in it, and you can taste that touch of honey. Yeah. They, they don't yeah. try to over-sweeten it. To, to try to hide all the bad flavor, because they don't have to. It has good flavor, it's just yeah. a touch of honey down yeah. there. It really does. It, it... And so far, out of almost everybody we've introduced this to, everybody has loved it except one. <laughs> and that one person said it was too sweet. Wow, that, I mean... We don't understand anybody saying this was too no, sweet. No, yeah. no, 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 this, this is, is fantastic. This is really good. I love this. This, okay, this is weird, because this is one of the reasons why I love doing the show, uh, it, because... It, Different kinds of booze, they, it triggers different memories. Now, I've never had this before, but <clears throat> what this feels like in, in uh, when it's in my mouth is basically like, when I was a kid, my parents took me to this, it wasn't a full Renaissance fair, it was like a Dickensian fair. Mm -hmm. And when you walked around, they had dirt on the floor, they basically built in this giant warehouse, like a, a Dickensian village. And straw on the floor, dirt, and they had some livestock kind of roaming around a little okay. bit. And there were there were like uh, chestnuts roasting and oh, stuff wow. like as you walk yeah. around. And that to me is always like how Christmas feels. Mm -hmm. And this this rum feels like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. In yeah. my mouth, mm -hmm. it's such a weird way to describe it, but it really is because it's so hearty and it just. And the flavor that I'm getting in the back of it yeah. is vanilla. Yeah, so yeah. It like a, it hits it like a, a, like almost like a cinnamon or a yeah, nutmeg I, or yeah, something. Yeah, like uh -huh. maybe it's a nutmeg. And that might be it. Yeah. But yeah, that's oh my god, that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Look forward in your favorite liquor store today. Yeah, no kidding. Seriously, yeah. this. Oof. So yes, this, this is. I'm not a big rum fan, and this he, is he likes it. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. I, I, I give this uh, based on down the memories. It's triggering like seven tiny tims out of nine. I mean, that's <laughs> just that's, wow. That's Hmm. Normally, I'm not a fan of just drinking rum straight, but this yeah yeah this is good. Most rum has no flavor to it. Yeah, or if or it does, it's it. so artificially flavored mm. or so sweet because they've tried to cover the bad flavor that you really can't drink the stuff straight. Yeah. You have to mix it with something. Wow, that is fantastic. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to get me a bottle of that when I go home. <laughs> and so you brought that. I mean, like, how did you how did you discover that? Uh, friends of ours, her, if I remember correctly, her. She has a friend who's the aunt of the owner, so they have some relative connection to the place, and okay. uh, they got a bottle, and we tried it, and said, that's really good. <laughs> and I said, we got to try their toast and coconut now, so then went to that, and then so I was like, we got to go to that, the, their distillery, so we went dressed as pirates, of course. Well, naturally. I think I <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think was with me, yeah. And so we did their rum tasting. It's like, yeah, we're just going to sit and drink. If we do another episode, we'll make sure that Figment appears. Okay? Well, yeah, so that people be, can meet Figment. It'd be the preference. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit behind the guy. He'll be up front. He's right there. It'll be an episode with Figment. Yeah, no, <laughs> nobody will want to talk to us. They'll want to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> and now we'll take a call. What does Figment think of it? <laughs> well, it come makes right me not fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't want to know that. And so where, where's the distillery at? Um, Sarasota. In Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, wow. That I mean, that is really. And, and you said that they have one still. But uh, they have two, two now. Or two, two stills, stills now. now. But, but the guy started it with one. One. Yeah. And just as a hobby, I was like, I want to start my own rum making business. And of course, his wife looked at him and said, "You're out of your freaking mind." <laughs> and then they borrowed money. They took off, sold everything they could sell to start up cash. That's an understanding uh, life. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. what I was well, understanding. It's not the key really wanted, and if it failed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Save some money for a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think mine would have had an understanding with the lawyer before I started the distillery. <laughs> <laughs> we all would have been going, that mysterious wife of yours you've never seen? <laughs> we still don't ever see her. I love you, her. honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice kissing her ass. <laughs> Just kiss, and she's not even going to see this and you're kissing her ass. Very good. Are you afraid of that little woman? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's saying this because we closed the door where his wife is, so she can't hear him say that. Oh, no, that's smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, already gone. Yeah, understand? I'll have her watch it, too. <laughs> yeah, and watch this bit. Yeah. He's not as dumb as he looks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, no, I hope that was <laughs> So, did they talk about how like how they infuse the flavors and stuff like that? Because with one still, do they, and forgive my ignorance on this, do they basically it's, just. However, make the process. The rum, they, they make the rum. Yeah. And then, 
later on they infuse the flavors to get the different kinds of rum, or or is it? Do they make one batch in the still? They make one batch at a time, and then they clean and it out and then make the next batch. batch. Right. Okay, but then in the barrels they keep it in there, and so yeah. then does it make? And sure another thing that they the have is well. they um, fill up one row of barrels, mm -hmm. and then when they sell some. They'll take some out of the barrels on the bottom, then they'll fill those back up with the barrels above, and then those barrels will get filled up with the ones above it. So they're mixing okay. their um, mixtures together. To keep it more okay. consistent. Yeah. Yeah. And isn't that like a so each barrel each. process or something yeah. like that? It's a term that I learned recently. Huh. I've heard that. I'm not sure what it actually means. So I think it. it's, it's where you're taking different batches, essentially, mm -hmm. and putting it in the same barrel with an yeah. older batch. So it kind of mixes the ages and then you do the same thing. So you know, this bottle here will taste slightly different from one that you might buy several weeks from now or several months from now, depending on what... Because the characteristics of the previous yeah. barrels that it was in. They're all mixed okay. together. It's going to be a slightly different. But. Huh. Well, that's, that's tremendous. Uh, yeah. And, uh, man, I want some more of that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Reach over there, because I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're stopping on this bottle, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, just, just one more one more okay. sample. Yeah. Um, okay, say when, and you better not tell me 9.30. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> okay, a a that's enough. I just want to notice that. He didn't uh, want to give you any. I know, I know. <laughs> No, I knew what he was going to say. Stop. I'm seeing that. Say, damn, well, what language was that in? <laughs> so, Did I get any how long have I known you guys? I think it's because oh. I know I started on the Sober convention scene. Yeah, collectively. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I know I started on the convention scene 14 years ago. Uh, would it have been a Con Carolinas or a StellarCon right? I think it was StellarCon. A StellarCon. So it probably would have been after I was on the circuit for a couple yeah. of years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, a lot of times um, I, I help Everett, and Everett helps me out with the charity auctions that we do at conventions, yep. uh, which is awesome. Because he is uh, a pro at doing them, um, Basically, if if uh, if I'm on the microphone, he's the one who's doing all the hard work behind the scenes to make sure that everything goes for whatever the charity might be. Um, and uh, of course, with all the experience, you do it at more than one convention. Correct? Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've, um, I helped out uh, last year. I did uh, five different ones, and not just science fiction conventions. I actually last year did a convention for uh, one of the credit union leagues, mm -hmm. um, and so I, I do others now too. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so. And of course you're on staff here at Congregate, right? Um, actually, if you look at my badge, I am lifetime member number one. Oh, right. Not so officially. I will never officially Not have officially. a staff badge on, but... Um, but you help out when this... I'm right. the chairman of the board of the corporation that, that runs the convention. Ah, okay, um, okay. I, I don't do much of the work. I help make the policy decisions. So you're you're but, the idea guy, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but we have people yeah. here that work a lot harder than I do. They, they do all of the day-to-day -day yeah. work. Yeah. I, I just kind of stay in the background. Yeah. And so, so Glenn, what do you do? <laughs> You're like the Ruth Buzzy of conventions. What do you do? I'm not sure how to take that. <laughs> it's I a reference. I, think, I was going to say, should I do with my parts? <laughs> it's a reference. <laughs> it's a reference nobody gets. <laughs> yeah, except me. <laughs> But no, but but you are a you are a cosplayer, correct? I mean, you you have well, a, costumer. I don't really a, like that oh, term. But, fair enough. Yeah, because you're not just wearing them; you're crafting them. You're making well, them. Well, she is. Just, so she is. <laughs> the so person on the other side of the wall. Okay, so you're a walking mannequin. Uh, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean, you <laughs> with with all the costumes that you do and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of pirate stuff. Yeah. Uh, you've also got a musketeer, correct? No. No. I thought you did a musketeer. No. Yeah. Not yet. Just no, the, candy, the candy bar? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. but, but my favorite costume of his mm -hmm. is from Highlander. Which I'll be wearing tomorrow night. Oh, the Connery Highlander. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. The Ramirez. Yes. With yes. all of the feathers. Yeah. On oh, the, I the, don't think I've seen that Oh, it's yet. beautiful. Yeah, his wife made that hand attached every one of those peacock feathers Ooh. onto that cloak. Yeah. It oh, is woman's gorgeous. The woman's the same. Yes. yes. Well, she's been living with me for so long. She has to be a saint. <laughs> uh, no, no, she's she's, she's <laughs> beyond that. <but> masochist. Um, yeah. <laughs> I say fucking crazy. But, you know. <laughs> Language, you jackass. Uh, no, we don't edit that out. We don't. No, 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 of course not. I curse all the time. You guys just hadn't cursed yet, so I was being good. Um, oh, fuck. So what the fuck's been the matter with you? It's going to be that kind of podcast, all right, then. <laughs> Well, you were bloody ass. Damn, I can drink that stuff all night. <laughs> no, you can't. I only have one bottle. <laughs> one 
What happened to the auction? Well, they're passed out on the floor together. That's tomorrow night. <laughs> we'll run out by this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need more of this stuff. <laughs> Can you deliver? <laughs> yeah, y'all do remember that this was full when we started this podcast. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wait a second, but that's all. I've, I've only had two no, 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 no. I've only had any, and, any and notice Goy keeps pulling it away from us. <laughs> of course, I ain't <laughs> stupid. He's greedy. <laughs> Yeah, I okay, I am. <laughs> if that was your bottle, wouldn't you do this? Well, I'm thing? still trying to figure out why my Jameson's got way over there where I can't reach it. <laughs> Here, I'll help. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> I thought you were going to say my precious. See, there you go. <laughs> do, we, do we need to do a hat trick on this episode? Do one more? <laughs> nah, we can save that for the next episode. All right, leave leave them wanting more. That works for me. Hopefully. <laughs> So, is there anything you guys want to plug? Any websites or, or, or convention appearance or? or um, I, I do want to say if you haven't, if you haven't been to Congregate before, this was our third year. Uh, I hope everybody here is having a great time. And if you haven't heard of us, go out to our website. It's congregate.com. C O N dash gregate.com. That's because you can't spell the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> and by eight, it, it's. Uh, A-T-E, yes. not or the number Oh, now we've really confused them. They'll never yeah, get to it. <laughs> They'll be typing it all in, and none of them will be the right way. So we're coming to you from Comic-Con 2012. <laughs> <laughs> That's next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we miss Comic-Con? No, and then there's Star Trek movie? Starts next Friday. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for uh, watching. Make sure you subscribe and, and uh, check out the, the links to the things that are posted on this stuff. And definitely, uh, if, you, if you like the boost, uh, try Drink. it out. And, <laughs> and don't tell them that you heard about it from here because yeah, that may get you like a, a automatically just tossed to their spam folder. I had one pot of beer and one chef scotch, one bottle of wine and a bourbon on the rocks.